The Tao gives birth to the one, the one gives birth to the two, the two give birth to the three, the three give birth to every living thing, and all things are held in yin and carry yang, and they are held together in the qi of teeming energy. This verse has quite a few similarities to the last one, though it's much more succinct. But here we see another sort of layering or hierarchy of this is this way and that is that way. And so here we see this building of the Tao is nothing, and so it gives birth to the one. The one then gives birth to the two, the two to the three, and the three give birth to every living thing. And if you think of this hierarchy, you can see that the shape that you are currently taking on, this body of yours, is several layers away from the Tao. There is this separation that you feel. And I've talked about this previously, pointing out that people often think that they feel like a stranger in this world or an alien because they think that they are this sort of like soul that's embodying this spacesuit, and then when that spacesuit is all worn out and is done for, then their soul will pop out and will continue on and go somewhere else. But that's not why. The reason that you feel separated and out of place is actually because at your core center, you are the Tao. But in order to live in this world of opposites and put on this grand play and this big illusion, you give yourself several layers of distance from the Tao. And so this can make people feel very disconnected from the world, even though they come from the world. But just realize that if you are feeling that strongly, that the reason is this, is that because you are the one that gives birth to the one, <laughs> or you are the nothingness that gives birth to the one, is probably a much better way to put it. And you've done such an elaborate dance to trick yourself into thinking that this life is the real one, and that this is something to take serious and push through and win. And all of these ways in which you convince yourself to get very bought into this illusion, it's that separation that you're feeling deep inside, not that you are a stranger here. And then there's a nice little reminder toward the end of the verse here that you aren't good or bad, you are good and bad. And if you are both good and bad, then you don't really need to name it anything. It's just you are this energy, and you are having this experience in this life, and that is the bare essential qualities to all of it. So let go of all of this worry of oh, I did a good thing, oh, I did a bad thing, oh, this is going poorly, this is going great, I'm winning, I'm losing, whatever it is. Let go of that, strip it away, and put your attention on peeling back the layers, the three or four layers that you've put in place to separate yourself from what you truly are, the nothingness that is the Tao. And that is the wisest way to work your way through this world.